Hello and welcome back to FTL Faster Than Light Advanced Edition. On this run, I kind of want to play as the Shrike, the Lanius Cruiser B-Type. It's actually quite good looking at it right off the bat. You start with a teleporter and two Lanius, which is very good for doing offensive invasions. The mind control system is very nice as well because it means that we can beam into a large room that has a you know, four slots for crew members, mind control the first person that walks in, and then all of a sudden we have three to their, you know, hopefully two, maybe three crew members though. Gives us a very good advantage, and because the Lanius remove oxygen from a room, we can very easily kill the enemy crew by just suffocating them. So this is a very interesting combination. Clone Bay, always a bit of a interesting system to have. You have to make sure that the Clone Bay does not get smacked by a missile, which could just kill your crew if they end up dying while they are aboard the enemy ship. But we also do start with a advanced flak gun. Kind of like the flak cannon Mark 1, except this one takes one less power, two seconds, quicker charge time, and you can't get this anywhere else in the game. You can only start with, start with it with the Shrike. Thing is, this is actually a really good gun to have with you for the entire game because it is one power for three shots. That is more than enough to really do a number on the enemy shields, giving beams a chance to get through, uh, giving a, you know, taking down super shields so that your missiles can get through, whatever you want to do, the advanced flat gun can probably help you out. This is a very good gun. I'm very happy to have it, um, and hopefully we'll be able to supplement it with some other weapons. The only achievement we have left on this ship is to get to Sector 8 without your ship's net oxygen levels exceeding 20%. It's actually kind of a difficult achievement to get because you have to basically micromanage your doors constantly. All right, we are at 6% oxygen. That number cannot go more than 20. Maybe even it can't get to 20. It has to stay less than that, I don't know. We'll try to make it work though. Uh, this ship, what we need, what we need is honestly power into the clone base so that it doesn't just get our crew killed accidentally by taking a random shot. We need to get a door system upgrade so that we can deal with invaders while we are, tr we are trying to board them. And we need a um, missile defense of some sort, particularly so that the uh, clone base just doesn't get smacked by a missile randomly and then our crew dies. The biggest problem with this ship is the fact that you have the clone bay. Other than that, it's actually quite good. So we're gonna go in on their piloting room. We are going to mind control the human in there and then all of a sudden, we've got some, uh, some good stuff because we can just hang out in this room, kill their crew as they walk in. We have three, they have one. And the power, nice. Because the advanced flat gun fires uh, in eight seconds instead of the usual 10, we did manage to sneak in a shot and take their flat gun offline. So we are not gonna take damage in this encounter. Uh, but, uh, what was I going to say? Um, but yeah, this should be pretty good. We take out the piloting system. Their crew is still mind controlled. They're going to come fight me. And this is going to work pretty well. Um, I, I'm debating whether or not I should spend my scrap immediately on the clone bay upgrade. I think I might. Because even just getting the clone bay upgraded will give me an additional healing every time I jump, which will mean that my crew can survive longer while they are aboard the enemy ship attacking the crew. I think it's worthwhile. I'm definitely definitely going to accept their bribe. Normally, I like fighting these ships because this is a double dip situation. We can get a bounty reward from just destroying the ship or the crew, most likely the crew in our situation. And then you can get a reward by talking to the victim of this pirate ship. You can potentially get some good stuff out of those. But because there is a weapon, I am just going to accept this offer. Getting a free weapon in the second jump of a sector is really, really good. Chain laser is actually a really bad weapon in and of itself, but I can always sell it if I want. It sells for quite a bit. So we're going to continue on. Uh, the good thing about having Lanius and a teleporter is that even if we come across a rebel scout, we can deal with the Rebel Scout. We can uh, send our Lanius over, destroy their shield system, destroy their weapons, destroy their piloting, whatever. And the Lanius don't need oxygen, so they will be able to deal with the ship no problem. They're gonna hack us, hacked us in the engine, 
Honestly, that doesn't really matter all that much because it looks like they don't have any sort of lasers. They can't actually break through my shields at all, and I can just keep their crew occupied by uh, moving out of rooms that have no oxygen. One guy's dead, and the other two are going to be fighting me in a second. They're trying to find a room that has oxygen to survive in, but that's okay. And they're dead. Easy encounter. Arlanius are getting slightly wounded. They will eventually die. <sighs> so yeah, let's get the clone bay upgrade. I don't want them to die permanently. We don't need it powered up to level 2 in order to get the passive heal. One power in it is fine. For now, anyways. All right, let's keep jumping around. I would like to go to the Nebulas if we find Rebel Auto Scouts. They are really easy for us to deal with. And in this situation, I would board, I will board the station and look for survivors. Ah, da 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 da. But we don't have the med bay. I'm just gonna scrap it. 18 scrap is good. You can get a crew member from that situation, from that um, station. But you can also lose a crew member, and I'm not sure if having a clone bay would work, even though it is powered to level 2. Normally, if you have a med bay powered up to level 2, then the worst case scenario is you board the station, and one of your crew members gets infected, but with the second level med bay, you can cure the infection, and at the very least, you don't lose a crew member. At a third level med bay, I think you can get a free crew member in that situation, but um, second level med bay, you don't lose a crew member. I I'm not sure that applies to the clone bay because your crew member at the end of the, the event doesn't die. They're still alive. They're just infected with a virus and the event happens, you know, you have to kill your crew member and when you kill them, they don't come back in the clone bay. So you know what? I don't feel bad about just scrapping the debris. It's 18 scrap. It's not, not a lot, but it's a pretty, pretty decent amount for the first sector. All right, now again, the ship seems to only have two beams, which is good for me because it means that I can just mind control some of their crew and go to town on them. They're going to run in a second because of the zero oxygenation. One guy is going to stick around. The uh, crew member who I have mind controlled is going to fight a drone. They're just gonna, just gonna chill out, I guess. Um, I definitely, I want them to come to me, so I am going to, I guess, go into the drone room, kill that crew member. The other crew member is going to come in in a second, and he doesn't want to stay at all because there's no oxygen anywhere. But if I go into one of these rooms, then he will walk through the room and just take damage from the low oxygen. So that was a pretty good amount of fuel. We are up to 20, which is a lot. And in fact... I'm going to get the third level clone bay, and I'm doing this super, super early, but I do not want my crew to die because I do not have a third level clone bay. I don't want it to get hit by an Artemis and then all of a sudden my crew dies. My crew are my lifeblood on this run. If I lose either of these Lanius, I'm probably screwed. This ship sucks, they're going to hack us. I'm going to board them in their weapons room to take their missile launcher offline. Yep, because they hacked my weapons, I will not have a very good opportunity to get shots off before they do. Good, they did manage to take out the weapon system. Now there's a solar flare here, but my ship is pretty deoxygenated. I didn't even realize that the um, engine room, the doors closed because it was hacked, and that does affect the level of oxygen throughout the ship so I need to I need to keep an eye on that whenever we get hacked whenever basically 24 7 I need to constantly be looking at the um, I need to constantly be looking at the oxygen levels in the doors and make sure that they are in fact you know closed not closed open all right we're gonna attack the hacking room for a second I can kill the ship by using the flat gun, so I'm, I don't need to kill my crew. They can, in fact, just probably come over right now. There's fire in the O2 room. They can go take a walk, make sure that that gets put out. Okay, it went out on its own. No problems. Gonna take a minute for the flat gun to kill the ship. The flat gun is very inaccurate, but that's just normal. 
for the flat gun. There we go. My crew also got some uh, combat training by destroying the systems of that auto scout ship, which is very nice. Get them trained up, they'll be able to kill crew much faster when they beam aboard. I think for now, though, I'm going to save my scrap, get the shield upgraded to level 2. That's going to be very important, I think. Another auto scout ship. This one has a drone and a laser, so I want to take out the drone ASAP. If I can take it out within about 10 seconds, 12 seconds, then their laser will hit my shield. But if the drone, by itself, it can't hurt me. My shields take a while to come back online. So the drone is the most, impo most important priority to take out. All right, it did do one damage to the teleporter. I am going to have to uh, get my, well, first of all, open the doors. And then I'm gonna have to close the door to the teleporter room and then get the NG over there to get that repaired. He's gonna take a little bit of damage. He'll get healed up. We do have emergency respirators, which I might wanna consider selling at some point just because it is a, a good amount of scrap. Okay, open the doors. They've done their job, they can come back. The flak gun can just finish the job here. Might as well set, have them at also man stations for a while. There's no reason not to get a little bit of training on weapons. And maybe in the future when we get some more crew, I will be having them man their stations. Or at the very least, when I get into a situation where I need them to man a station, they'll be slightly good at it. I'd already taken out their weapons though, so they weren't. He wasn't going to get any sort of uh, training on dodge at all on the engines, but you know, whatever. Forty scrap, not enough to get shields, so let's just keep jumping through the nebula. It's working well for us so far. These auto scout ships are not being a problem, and this, I think, is an event that's going to give us a crew member for free. We get a human. Human is going to go into the engine room. Now, the oxygen level will go up, but it should only go up to about 12%. It's about 6% every room that you have oxygenated. I think. Although the oxygen level is only now going up to 7%. It's going to take a while, I guess, to re-oxygenate the room, but it should only be about 6% per room. I don't know off the top of my head if that's two rooms or three rooms that we can have closed off. We're, we'll see, though. We'll see. The good thing about this is that our crew is getting substantially healed as we are jumping, which is very nice. There is a store. I do have the chain laser to potentially sell, which I might want to do. I can go to the store and then make my way up to the exit. We will have to bust, bust through a rebel ship, but that rebel ship will not have an ASB to help it out. So that might be something that we want to do. Let's go to the nebula first, then the, then the distress beacon, then we'll figure out what we want to do. All right, they are going to have their missile launcher online. I'm going to keep my shields online, but they have no lasers, so I don't know here. We're definitely going to board them. That's got to happen. And mind controlling is smart because we can kill the crew rather easily. And if they have a missile launcher, I might as well have the flak gun online and turn on the O2 system. And we can put power from the O2 into the engines when they fire their weapon. The advanced flak might be able to take out the missile launcher. We do not have any shields right now, though, so that's something that I need to get fixed. So we're going to send human to get that fixed up. And I am going to open the door to the engine room to keep the O2 levels low. going to send them into the engine room. They do have a drone repairing, which is a bit annoying. And they hit in the shield room as well. Okay, let's get the oxygen power to just realize that uh, human is going to have a hard time keeping himself alive. Another missile coming in. 10% dodge chance. Not enough, but we did finally take out their weapons completely, and they have no way of actually hurting me at all. So we have some time. Let's get the shields repaired. Let's get the engines repaired. They have a repair drone trying to get stuff repaired, but it's, it's not going to work out too well for it. And get another crew member in here. He should die pretty quickly. He's the last crew member. Excellent. Get power back into the teleporter. 
That was a pretty easy encounter, all things considered. Our human got beat up a little bit, but he'll get healed up as time goes on. We don't need to worry about him too much. Do need to get power into the shield system so that the shields are powered for the next jump. I don't want to jump into an asteroid field or something and just get wrecked. And I might also just ignore the store and just focus on getting to the exit. Refugee ship, hail them. It is a actually kind of an annoying ship to have to deal with. We're going to send the Laniuses on to shields and weapons for the time being. Can't get the chain laser online. And we're just going to we're just going to try to take these shots on the chin. I do believe that we will get hit by the beam. I don't think there's any way that we can avoid it with the single laser shot there. I think the timing of their weapons is enough that we will take damage. I think if it was a heavy laser we could do it. Yeah. I think if it was a heavy laser we could get out of the way of the shot. But now that they've hit us once, uh, they won't be able to hit us again because of the way that their weapon timing is going to work. So I can get my Lanius back into the teleporter room. Yeah, now, the sh now our shields are, are online before their weapon comes out. We're going to board them. Mind control. This should be a pretty easy encounter. Let's t try to take their weapons offline a little bit anyways. And we hit one of them, so that's good. Um, just gotta wait for the, uh, wait for the mind control to wear off on this guy. Shoot him a few times. Yeah, he didn't want no part of that. Okay, our crew is wounded. You know, Zoltan, they kind of explode in a suicidal blast when you kill them, so... HP is not looking good on the Lanius, but they should be fine. We have 25 HP per jump, I believe, with the clone bay powered up. Well, not powered up, but purchased to the level that it is at. And I think we're just going to go to the exit. I would like to go to the Distress Beacon to more beacons, but on the first sector, I've learned my lesson. Trying to get past Rebel ships on the first sector is a bit of an, a bit of an ask. That being said, though, because it is in the nebula, maybe it is the best course of action for me to try to just do it. Ooh, what to do, what to do. Let's, let's do it. Let's be risky, go to the distress beacon, then we'll go up to the exit. I will give them fuel. They will give me a free reactor upgrade. You know what, that's not bad. Thanks very much for the kind, upgrade to my reactor aid the civilian ship it's just a crappy old auto scout we should be able to take out their chain laser before it fires it takes 16 seconds to fire that's why i don't like it and there it goes it's already offline so really is no worry about being killed on this encounter i'm just gonna wait for them to teleport back actually i'm just gonna wait for them to destroy the ship systems because they gain combat experience doing this so I might as well take advantage of it. Bjorn only needs one more destruction and then yep he's max level so let's get him out of there and let Justin do the work. If he destroys six more system components he will get leveled up and have 20% more crew damage. He probably won't be able to, to uh, completely destroy the ship. I don't want him to in fact. But getting him some free training, basically, is quite nice. And I will take advantage of this right now. It's going to take a minute, but as long as my crew don't die frequently, I shouldn't have to keep doing this ever again. This should just basically be a one-time thing. Okay. I think that puts him at five. He probably will not be able to get up to level eight unless their uh, weapon system repairs itself as we're taking out the piloting system. So we'll see. Justin is level six. Uh, the uh, weapon system is getting repaired by the auto scout, but hopefully not enough. Or hopefully it is enough that we can actually get him up to level eight. And it looks like we can, that's actually quite nice. So we're going to have two basically full health Lanius with good fighting skill. That's pretty good. Beam them back, destroy the ship. Good stuff, good stuff. That worked out quite well, I think. And we picked up about 17 scrap. It is enough to get the next bar of shields. And we can take power away from the clone base since we don't need it con 
continuously powered. We only need it powered when we need to use it to bring someone back to life. All right, just a simple Mantis ship. They do have a missile launcher. So I do want to take their missile launcher out if I can. I should have mind controlled the freaking Mantises. That was stupid of me. We will take out the oxygen pretty quickly though. So, you know, they're going to wound my Lanius, but not for, ter not for too long. I don't want my Lanius to die though, because I do want to actually have a good chance at taking out their missile launcher before it does too much damage to my ship. It is a Leto, it only does one damage when it lands. We only have a 15% uh, dodge chance because we, well, only have one power in the engine system, actually. All right, let's try to see if we can't get the enemy crew to come after me. All right, they have doors. The doors don't actually bother me all that much because my crew are not being attacked by the mantises while we wait. All right, so you know what? They're gonna kill one of my Laniuses. That might be for the best, honestly. Actually, they didn't kill him. He had like three HP left. That's ridiculous. They can get stuff repaired. So my Lanius are probably gonna die during the fight with the rebel ship at the end of the sector. It's gonna be tricky. It's gonna definitely be tricky to get through without taking too much damage, but I think we'll be okay. 88 scrap, what do we upgrade? Honestly, dodge chance, maybe mind control but I think dodge chance is, is what we do. We need some extra dodge chance, and you know, 10% gets us up to 25%, so that's a you know, pretty good deal in my book. I think that's gonna help us out quite a lot. Can go to one more beacon, but then I'd have to backtrack through two rebel ships, and I would rather not risk that much right now. I'll risk one, I'm not gonna risk two. They do have a teleporter and a mind control room, not mind control room, med bay. I think what we're gonna do is just auto fire on their ship and wait for them to board me and then mind control and kill their crew. They're in the weapons room. This should be an easy kill. I don't think they're gonna leave the weapons room, but if they do, they'll just die in one of the rooms with the, my other crew members. We took down their laser and now their beams can't do anything to us. So this is gonna be a pretty easy encounter, all things considered, I do believe. I could beam them into, or I could beam aboard their ship in their med bay. I think instead what I will do is go into their engine room, actually. Mind control one of their crew members, and he's going to go off into the engine room and keep them busy in there. Good stuff. Flat gun still trying to hit him. Doing an okay job. Okay, mind control wore off. They are going to get themselves healed up. I could try to hit them with, in, with the flat gun in their med bay. That might be a pretty good option for me. Uh, I think those shots missed, unfortunately. And I did one damage to their teleporter. It's not enough, though. If I can hit him in the med bay, I can just keep my crew members in the med bay and prevent them from getting healed up. And that's exactly what happened there. So both my Lanius are going to go into the med bay. They might kill one of them. I don't think they'll kill two of them. Nah, I think they actually are going to. Unless I mind control them. Yeah, mind control them, keep them occupied for just a second. Good stuff. And now they are not going to go into the med bay at all. And in fact, mind control man is going to get a kill. So I think this is going to be just fine. We'll get one fuel out of this encounter. Not the best reward, but, you know, one fuel's one fuel. Mantis controlled or civilian sector? Honestly, Mantis controlled, we're good against boarding and we're good against borders, so I think this is fine. Mantises will be a bit of a pain in the ass to kill, but we have a clone bay. So I'm hoping that kind of uh, brings the balance a little bit more in our favor. And I wasn't really worried too much about Bjorn not having a lot of health because jumping out of the first sector into the second sector counts as one jump, and then jumping to the first beacon of this sector counts as one jump, so that's 50 health that they will get healed back. So he's not going to be at full health, but he will be pretty close. Uh, we will uh, offer up the Mantis in exchange for bounty. 
So he does a little bit of damage to us. We have a little bit of a fire in the piloting room, and you can put that out, no problem. Uh, I did not want to get another crew member, honestly, just because I didn't want to have to worry about micromanaging the oxygen all that much. One crew member meant I would have to put him in the shield room or the weapons room. No extra crew members means that I don't have to worry about that. And I want to get that achievement if I can, because if I do it once, I don't need to do it ever again. And Bjorn is already almost back to full health, so I feel pretty good about that. They're going to try to board me. I think I'm going to let him. Boarded me in the clone bay, but he's going to try to run, so I'm just going to meet him in the door room and just have fun with him here. Now, hopefully my flat gun can take out the missile launcher before it fires. It does not, but that kind of tells me that it's okay that it fires because it's just a Leto. I'm going to board them. I will board them in the med bay and mind control the first person who walks in there. They have an NG. NG should not get healed for too much, especially once we take out the oxygen in the room. The oxygen is going to completely eliminate his natural healing in the room, so he's going to die pretty quickly. And the Mantis in here is going to die as well. It's got a lot of HP. I didn't realize he had so much. It's going to move Milanius around. He has nowhere, nowhere to go because we're in the med bay, so he's just going to stay there and get killed, basically. That worked out quite well. We took a couple points of damage, but that's just because we don't have any sort of missile defense. I would really like to pick up... You know, pick up a... Uh, Pick up a cloak, a defense drone, anything, really. I will attack the ship, absolutely. They're gonna board me again. Get my crew member into the weapons room towards the center of the ship. I don't know where they are. They are in the engine room. Kinda sucks, honestly. They have two lasers, and actually because they have two lasers and they can't kill me, I'm just gonna attack the Mantis in the uh, engine room with my crew members. Immediately deoxygenate the room. He should die very quickly, and they don't have a clone bay, so he's dead permanently. Good stuff. Back up to full combat prowess. And their, their weapons can't hurt me at all, so I don't need to worry at all. I could just kind of wait here and sneak training on my crew members, but I'm not going to do that. I, I don't necessarily like doing that. What I can do, though, is hit them in their med bay with the flak gun, and if I hit, then I can beam over and kill the crew. And they won't get the uh, healing from the med bay while I'm in there destroying it. I have to actually land an appropriate shot. No, still missed. Don't have a sensors room. Getting sensors would be good because then I could mind control before I go over. Uh, Slug does the same thing though. Come on, yeah, okay. Hit the med bay, please. That laser shot hit the extra flak chunks that I shot out of my gun. That was really weird. Okay, if I can get one more shot in before they can get it repaired, I will beam over. Nah, they must have a NG in there or something. I can still give it a shot, but I'd actually just rather kill them. With a second level med bay, it's, it's kind of tricky to, to kill the enemy crew. And they definitely have more than one crew member aboard, so I'm just going to kill them. 12 scrap. You know, not not a whole heck of a lot, but it's enough. We didn't take any damage on that encounter, so I can only take that as a positive thing. Now, this is going to be a bit tricky. They are going to try to board us and get away. So I'm just I'm just going to fire immediately on their weapon system, take their weapon offline, and then we'll fire on their piloting system. Now, where are they? I don't know. In this empty room. Excellent. It has no oxygen, we can kill them pretty easily. Their weapons are now out. Their uh, missile did miss. Now I can hit them in the piloting room and hopefully delay their FTL jump away. And we can jump aboard their ship here in a second. And hopefully keep their crew occupied. And hopefully with the mind control, keep them occupied for longer. Yeah, good stuff. Attack your friend. There we go. Now they have no piloting. Mind control crew member is going to wander off and attack something else. They're not going to get away. I want the mind control to wear off. I should have, you know what, I should have moved into the O2 room and fought the mind controlled unit. That's what I should have done. They actually got the missile launcher online, but we got a crew member out of it. Again, maybe not the best thing, because now I'm going to have to micromanage my door system, my oxygen system. 
punch the mic. And in fact, the odd, the, the, the bad thing about this is that I can't actually close off one of the uh, weapons rooms or the shield room because in doing so, the central rooms here in the corridors will get oxygen. So I'm actually gonna have the NG go on the doors, I think. It's an, it's an odd call, but unfortunately I don't see a, a way around it. I want to get the achievement if I can. I wanna work towards that on this run. I guess this is what I'm gonna to have to do then. Human has four points of training on the engine, so let's keep him there. At the very least, I can use this to kind of uh, deal with invaders, turn off the O2, close all doors, and then they just have to b bash their way through rooms in order to get to the piloting or the engines. And I can spend that time actually boarding the enemy ship and not worrying about killing their invaders first. 86 scrap. Uh, mind control upgrade might be nice, but really the mind control is just a delaying tactic for the enemy. Keep one of their crew members delayed while I deoxygenate the room and kill off a couple of their crew members. I don't need to trade for fuel because I have 27, which is quite a bit. What I want is a store. When I store, I want to sell the chain laser and buy something better. All right, they have one laser and one beam. They can't damage me, but what they could potentially do is... Well, first of all, have a uh, freaking anti-personnel drone, but they can still hurt me once the uh, Pulsar Power Surge comes into play. So I am going to try my best to... I guess just flat gun them. Our weapons are now offline. Their weapons are gonna get wounded here in a second as my crew members uh, bang on them. They only have the beam. Beam did get a chance to fire, so we did take a little bit more damage there, unfortunately. And I guess we're just gonna kill the crew. Nothing left for it, really. They still have a crew member somewhere, there he is. All right, they're dead. Bring these Lanius back and repair the uh, weapons room. I guess also another reason why I wanna find a store is for repairs, because we actually are gonna need them. And that was a kind of a dangerous encounter. You know, the Pulsar could have hit us in the clone bay, and then if one of our crew members died, they would not have been able to come back to life. But hopefully it would have only done like one or two ion damage to the clone bay. The problem is, is that when your clone bay is ionized, you can't put power into it when you need it. You have to have power in the system. So as soon as someone was close to death, I would have to dump power into the clone bay as much as I could, three power even, and then just Hope that the Ion Surge didn't take it offline completely. Sucks, but there's really no way around it, unfortunately. Uh, there is a distress signal. I have a ton of fuel, so I figure why not go to it? You know, if they wanted fuel, I could freely give them fuel. I have 25 pieces left. Pieces? Units? I will attack this ship. Even if they activate, I should be able to take them out, no problem. Especially with the... Uh, Lanius, they can just go aboard, take out the weapons. They have an ion blaster, or not an ion blaster, but they have an ion weapon. Even if it fires twice, and even if both shots landed, I would still have one bar of shields in order to block the heavy laser shot. And my Lanius would only need to take out one bar of weapon power for me to be completely safe. That's exactly what happened here. They're good at combat, so I don't even need them to be aboard the enemy ship. I can just bring them aboard or yeah, just return them to my ship. I'm just gonna let them beat on it for a second. And on the next encounter, they will be at full health, even Bjorn. 25 healing means that he will be back at 100. And with them not having a cloak, they should be just shooting fish in a barrel, pretty much. Of course, the mind control doesn't do anything for, anything for us on this encounter, but just being able to board them and take out some of their systems really quickly with Lanius is wonderful and totally makes up for it, not having the uh, mind control do anything. I still don't want to spend scrap. I want to find a store. Don't hire anyone. I can't really hire anyone right now. I think I can go to one more beacon before I have to hit up the exit, so let's do it. There's no... 
real differentiation between these beacons at all, so it doesn't really matter which one we go to. Uh, might as well get one upgrade somewhere. Let's get shields. Yeah, I would like to go to a store, but it's looking like we're going to have to wait for the next sector before we do that. So let's spend the power now. Or not the power, let's spend the scrap now. It doesn't really matter that I have the... Uh, that I have it because they just have a missile launcher plus ion. Need to hit him in the medbay to take it offline. They, be they beamed aboard in the teleporter room, which is perfect for me because it means I don't even have to move my guys at all. Their medbay is offline. Board them in the medbay, prevent them from repairing it. Mantis. Yes, please. It also means, unfortunately, that I can't really bust my way through the uh, rooms very easily because they have the door system, but whatever. Um, crew members are slightly wounded. I want them to be spread out slightly differently. And we can't beam aboard because... We can't beam back because they hit us in the teleporter room. So we're just going to have to take out their crew right now. Hit us once in the clone bay. Doesn't really matter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you, Mantis. I might get hit by another missile, but I'm still going to get you. Missile missed, which is nice. All right. Send the NG into the teleporter room, and while he's doing that, I'm going to open the door room so that the oxygen level stays low. Okay, beam them back, have them go fix the clone bay, close out the door room, open up the teleporter room. Just got to keep micromanaging the power until we get to Sector 8. Once we get to Sector 8, we can not have to do this crap anymore. And as much as I would like to go to the store, I kind of made my decision when I upgraded the shield room. So we're just going to jump to the next sector and... And... Just jump to the next sector. NG Homeworlds Rebel Controlled. Kind of want to go... I don't want to go rebel controlled. If this is a Zoltan sector, that's going to be annoying as hell. But if it's a Zoltan home nebula, or not home nebula, but home sector, maybe we can get a Zoltan super shield. I'm going to go... NG Homeworlds is easier and has more stores. I'm going to go NG Homeworlds. Normally, I don't like going to green sectors, but we're kind of low on HP, and I would like to be able to go to a store. And there's definite, there's going to be multiple stores in this sector, so I hopefully won't pass it up. Pfft, guess I didn't need to, because the quest just turned into a store. Hull Laser 2, Hull Laser 1, Heavy Laser. Chain Laser is almost worth just selling. I could get a Med Bay. <clears throat> Can't get drone control. Actually, I can't really get a medbay, can I? I can sell the emergency respirators and the chain laser. That will put me at, well, 32 and 22 is 54, plus 25 is 79. I can get the drone control system, but I can't get the defense drone to go along with it. Could get the backup battery, which is nice in allowing me to not have to worry too much about power. And it allows me to get a, a really, you know, kind of bitchin' ship by the end game. Another weapon might be good. Heavy laser is actually really nice because it does do two damage on one hit. Hull Smasher laser takes extra power. All right, we're going to sell the chain laser. It's, I don't like it. We're going to sell emergency respirators. I don't need it. We're going to buy a heavy laser. And we're going to fix. Slightly. We did get a little bit of a hull repair by jumping into this sector. And it's going to take about 40 scrap, I believe, to get the weapon system upgraded. But we're going to work on that. I didn't buy the, uh, the backup battery, but I also don't necessarily need to. As long as we go to more stores in the future, we should be able to, you know, pick it up in the future. We will shoot at the rocks. And that event actually worked fine. They survived. Which is honestly kind of surprising. 40 scrap means we get the reactor upgrade, and now I can have advanced flak heavy laser. Reason kind of why I wanted the heavy laser is because it charges very quickly. It charges in nine seconds. 
which means the flat gun can fire first, heavy laser can fire a split second later, and we can hopefully do a lot more damage to the enemy ship, take out their weapons, take out their med bay. And another reason why I do like going to uh, green sectors on occasion is you do get random free rep weapon drops on occasion, and we just got one. So, you know, the more the merrier. Might as well go to one beacon before we hit up the store. We're gonna have to go to a store, unfortunately. Ah, this is the NG quest line, the Stealth Cruiser Quest. We contact them, offer our help, we get two quest markers, we have to go to both of the quest markers. Surprisingly, they're on the next sector, which I wasn't expecting, but we go to the quest markers, we destroy the ships or kill the crew or whatever, and we will get a bunch of scrap, hull points repaired, a titanium system casing, I believe, which is worth 40 to sell, which is kind of one reason why I do want to get it. There's the drone control system that I want, but we're just going to keep jumping. I do actually like having the hull laser. It's a pretty decent weapon. Uh, what does it sell for? 37. Not enough that I could buy anything worthwhile, so we're just going to keep jumping. Don't need to visit the other store, so we're just going to ignore it. Promise to help. NG crew can remotely repair the targeting system. 30 free scrap is nice. We're not screwed. We're not stuck, which is good. I was kind of worried about that for a split second. Uh, 47 scrap. Honestly, I think we're doing fine. Let's just keep jumping. Um, I don't have full power in order to use the shields, but I can always dump power into the shields if I need it. I will trade for fuel here. I didn't do it previously because we had like 27. Now we're down to 18, so, you know, if I can keep over 20 by just getting rid of missiles, I'll do it. Ah, they must destroy our ship to prevent the virus from escaping. This is a really cool encounter. We can either just get rid of it, or we can go get into a fight with the enemy ship, get scrap rewards, and also get a NG crew member who has full, full training in everything. That actually sounds really good because then I can put them on the piloting system and just get an immediate bonus to my evasion. So I'm just going to have my engine crew member uh, go talk to them. They have a lot of offense. I need to get someone into the piloting room. They have a lot of offense, but I should be actually be able to take them out. Beam over, mind control, and then just kind of go to town. So we're just going to do that immediately. Their engine. So I'm just going to go into the shield room first, and maybe the advanced flak hull, hull laser can sneak by the defense drone mark too. I knew there was going to be a defense drone. I was okay with that. I just have to time my shots to go in at the same moment. All right. Well, he did shoot. They did shoot down enough. Uh, I need to get my shields powered up. We're going to do that immediately. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't get my shields powered up fast enough. Which was just dumb of me, honestly. And we missed enough shots that they actually did not hit the weapon system. Just kill the crew. Kill the crew. Thank you. Get 31 scrap plus virus who is good at everything. So, Ty Lee can go back on to the door system. Actually, just <laughs> stay put for now. I need to get the Lanius up to repair the oxygen system. That worked out wonderfully. Took uh, one point of damage because I forgot to get the shields powered up. That's my fault. Um, I knew that I would have to do that when I started the encounter, but I was too focused on trying to get the, my weapons to land that I just forgot to do it. So we don't need the shields powered up right now. We can put power back into the oxygen system, get Tai Yi into the door room, and a Virus now is piloting, you know, that's a free 10% dodge chance for doing that encounter, and that's pretty good. And Virus is good at everything. He's good at repairing, good at combat. Might be a little bit of a waste to have him on the piloting system, but whatever. Okay, good stuff. Let's jump. Don't want to jump to the exit quite yet. We've got plenty of time and plenty of beacons to explore. Absolutely aid the civilian ship. They are going to board me. That means we wait for them to board, and then we board them. And when they board us, we turn off the oxygen, we close all doors so that the oxygen level does not go up, and we, we board and we mind control them. 
Mantis, yes, Mind Control the Mantis. Now, their crew member has no oxygen. He's gonna bust through all of my doors of my ship trying to get to the piloting or the engine room. He's gonna die by the time he gets there. I don't need to worry about him at all, basically. We can take out their weapons room. Uh, I could fire on the weapons room, so let's get the let's get the uh, Lanius out for a second while we do this. Ah, we hit him once in the laser. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to hit him with the uh, the heavy laser and maybe take their missile launcher offline. It's going to do one damage to me continuously, but you know, there's nothing really I can do do to prevent that. Uh, open all doors. Open all doors. Close these ones. Get the oxygen powered up. Uh, NG's gonna take a little bit of damage, but he's fine. Uh, my crew might as well try to track them down while I take out their weapons with the heavy laser. And we got another crew member. Well, I guess it's worth getting. Unfortunately, I don't really have a place for him. I wanna, you know, again, I wanna get that achievement. So what are you gonna do, Osted? I, I don't know. Hang, hang out in the piloting room. Piloting is important, so keep it online. 